Moses is dead, and Joshua is given the task of leading the children of Israel into the Promised Land. In Joshua chapter 1, the Lord says this to Joshua, beginning at verse 6, Be strong and courageous. You shall cause this people to inherit the land that I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous. Be careful to do according to all the law that Moses my servant commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may have good success wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous. Then you will have good success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened. Do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. You are the one, God tells Joshua. You are the one. And I'd like to just suggest to you today that you are the one. Now, what do I mean by that? Every one of us has our task to do today. We might say, well, it's not like Joshua leading the children of Israel into the promised land. No, but where you are today and what you are doing today is, well, you are the one for today. If you are teaching a class in school as a teacher, you are the one. If you are a, a, a real estate agent, helping people find homes and, and sell homes, you are the one. We don't need to think of this just in terms of, of preachers and, and uh, people who, in, who are in full-time Christian service. Wherever you are today in your life, my friend, you are the one. And so you can claim this, claim these wonderful promises for yourself. No matter how mundane you might think that, that your tasks are today, you got laundry to do, you are the one. You got meals to fix, you are the one. Everything that, that we do today can be done for God's glory, for Him. Because wherever we are and whatever we're doing, we are the one. God tells Joshua three times in this passage to be courageous. He first says, only be strong and courageous. And then he says, be strong and very courageous. And then he says again, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. So be strong and courageous today in what you have to do and, and understand and embrace the concept that what you have to do today, where your life's journey has taken you and the, the tasks that you have to do today, you are the one. And God will be with you wherever you go. Trust Him today. And you, won't, you know what? You might be surprised at the way the Holy Spirit begins to lead you and guide you into ways that, that you begin to find your life is more fulfilling as every day goes by. And the key is, of course, what did God tell Joshua? You got to be in the Word. You got to be in the Word. You got you to have that Word instilled in your life, in your heart, and in your mind, day and night. You've got to be reading the Bible. You've got to be meditating upon the words and allowing those words to change your life. But dear one, oh dear one, today you are the one. Do not be frightened. Do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you are.